Meet Pixiebot, your virtual product security engineer. Pixiebot is like Dependabot, but instead of helping you keep your dependencies up to date and secure, Pixiebot is focused on doing the same thing to your code. Installing Pixiebot is a breeze. Just go to the GitHub app page and hit install and select the repos you'd like to harden. Nothing to set up or configure. Now, Pixiebot doesn't give you reports or tell you about problems. We propose code changes. We fix stuff. And there are two ways we help deliver value as you develop software. The first way is a feature we call continuous improvement. Once a week, you'll get a PR from us helping secure your code against a single security issue. This could be a change to help harden your code against attacks, or it could be fixing an outright bug. The first thing Pixiebot has chose to help us fix is an XML external entity weakness. This is an attack where a malicious attacker can trick the XML parser, which is insecure by default, into exfiltrating local files and even executing arbitrary code. Thanks, Pixiebot. Now, the second way we deliver value is through a feature called PR hardening. Now let's see what happens when I propose some vulnerable code in a repository protected by Pixiebot. When I propose a pull request, Pixiebot starts looking for any way to make the code proposed more secure, more performant, or higher quality. And a lot of factors affect the security of code, and Pixiebot is looking for all of them. It looks like I got a notice from Pixiebot offering some changes to improve my PR. It looks like Pixiebot has hardened the SQL code against ejection attacks and secured our use of the Xtreme library against deserialization attacks. Now, I don't know too much about these attack classes, so I'm glad Pixiebot is actually just fixing all the new code going in and not just sending me reports or emails to complain about it. The security team's happy and I'm happy.